The T-Rex needs no introduction. It was one of the largest and most fearsome carnivores to ever exist, possessing one of the strongest bites of all time, only trumped by C. Megalodon, a prehistoric shark. The largest of the T-Rex specimens is Scotty, who weighed more than 8.8 .8 tons and was more than 13 meters long when it roamed what is now the western side of North America between 68 and 66 million years ago. However, researchers say the specimens discovered may not have been an accurate representation of the species, and that undiscovered individuals may have been much larger. Paleontologists Jordan Mallon and Dr. Dave Hone first collected data on the population size and average lifespan of T. rex. They used this data to build two models that predict the typical growth curve of the dinosaur over its lifetime. One of these models assumed the species exhibited sexual dimorphism in body size, where females and males grow to different weights, and the other model didn't. Dr. Mallon told Live Science, If T. rex was dimorphic, we estimate that it would have weighed up to 24 tons. But we rejected the model because if it were true, we would have found even larger individuals by now. Sensible. Earlier this year, a different study claimed that T. rex might actually have been three species, including T. regina, or the queen of the dinosaurs, and T. imperator. Sounds like Mad Max. However, this was later refuted by other scientists, who claimed there wasn't sufficient evidence to split up the iconic species. Researchers presented their model and prediction on T. rex adult body weights at the Society of Vertebrate Paleontology annual meeting earlier this month. While Dr. Mallon confirmed on Twitter that he is tweaking the final manuscript of this research, he also warned the results are speculative until a specimen of this size is discovered. He tweeted, Our back-of-the-envelope calculations suggest that a 15,000 kilogram animal is mechanically feasible, but that will require more rigorous testing. We're talking about the equivalent of humans who are 6 foot 9, added Dr. Hone on Twitter. It's interesting to hear this argument, as I have often stated personally that Specimen Sue was likely the equivalent of a 5 foot 10 person, and 7 feet tall equivalent fossils probably do exist somewhere out there. Even taking the more conservative upper weight estimate of 15 tons, this would give the T-Rex a length of well over 20 meters, assuming the two values have a relatively linear relationship when scaled up. So what do you make of this new 15-ton, 20-meter-long T-Rex? I bet T-Rex fanboys are creaming it. Me personally, I'll take the research with a pinch of salt. But a maximum length of 13 meters for a T-Rex does seem kind of low. There are thousands of fossils out there we haven't discovered yet. And some of these are bound to be much, much larger than Sue and Scotty. Anyway, what do you think? Please leave a comment below. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a small super thanks. If not, hit the like button, subscribe, share, and hit the bell icon so Susan Wojcicki doesn't hide all my uploads. Because, you know, you subscribed to a channel so you can see the uploads, right? Yeah, YouTube thinks they know better. So hit the bell icon. Anyway, I've been VK. Hope you have a pleasant evening. I'll catch you later.